Hey guys, welcome back to Seashell Music. Today I'm going to show you how to play Hudson Taylor's new song, World Without You, which has that cool little riff and it's also got a really nice chord progression. Which is pretty cool as well. So in this lesson I'm going to go through both parts. So we'll start with the chords. And then work on and they'll Near the end of the video, I'll show you how to play that chord riff as well. Okay, right, so I'll go to a close up and show you how to play it all. Okay, so in the verse, we have this. And then as it builds. That kind of thing. Okay, so the chords, we have first chord is based around an A, so you play open A if you wanted. The way I've seen in videos is like this, which gets the open B and E out. So what you do, you put in your second finger on the 6th fret of the G string, 3rd finger on the 7th fret of the A, pinky on the 7th fret of the D, and you're going to strum from the A string. Okay, so that's A. And you're going to go to D sus2 here, so it's First finger on the second fret of the G, second finger on the third fret of the B, and then back to your first air chord. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you're going to go to E major. So you're already in the shape, so you're going to slide it to the first fret with your second finger, and then second fret with your pinky and third finger. And then you're going to go to F sharp minor, which is. First finger on the second fret of the G, and then third finger on fourth fret of the A, and pinky on fourth fret of the D. Again, got the high B and high E ringing out. So you got A two three four, D two A four, E two F sharp minor. Then you got D and A. So those are your chords throughout. Well, the verses, and what you get is. And second verse so you get this kind of 16 note cold player type strum as well so one and two and three and four and one kind of thing so have a mess about with that and see what you come up with it's kind of four key Lots of triplets, one E and a, a, a kind of thing. So yeah, so have a listen to a song, play around with that and you got it. Okay, and then for the chorus you got D, A, E, F sharp minor. So the strumming for that is down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Then to A. Okay, so down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Okay, so the first part of your chorus is your D to A, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, F sharp. So you do that round twice with your same strum pattern. Then we go to the second half, which you got B minor, which is the same shape as your F sharp minor chord. We're gonna slide it down to seventh fret. So first finger's on the seventh fret of the G, Third finger is on the ninth fret of the A, pinky is on the ninth fret of the B, uh, D, sorry. So down. And to F sharp, minor. Then to E major. And F sharp, minor. Then you finish on the D chord. Building back up and then you back into the verse. So the only other part of the song is the bridge, which goes F sharp minor, E to D. And that repeats. 
piece of down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 kind of thing. So E, one and two and three and four and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so yeah, so again, listen to the song to pick up the timing on that, but it's the same three chord. Okay, so we'll have a look at the pattern that's getting played down here, so the like, lead riff. Okay, so capo on the ninth fret. Chord you're going to need. So your pinky's going to stay here on the 12th fret of the little E string. Okay, then you're going to play a C shape above it, so you're going to be on... I'll talk about in relation to capo, so you're on 1st fret of the B, then you're on 2nd fret of the D and 3rd fret of the A. So you got A string, little e, B. So A, E, B, A, A, E, B, A. And then you're going to go to F, so it just means moving your second and third fingers down a string. And you're going to go D, E, B, D, D, E, B, D. So so we've got. A, E, B, A, A, E, B, A, then to F and go D, E, B, D, back to C, A, A, B, A. So. Then you're going to jump your fingers up again to go to a G chord. This time you're playing the big E string. And E, B, E. So you go. to A minor with your pinky on, so 1st fret of the B, 2nd fret of the D and G, and then pinky on the 3rd fret of the little E. And you got A string, E, B, A, the whole thing so far. And you got F, same pattern as before, and then C. So that's your whole pattern. When you get to the chorus, it's going to go F, C, G, A minor. Same kind of pattern, you can have your pinky on if you want. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson, which was covering Hudson Taylor's track, World Without You. It's got two little parts of that, which is pretty cool and loads of stuff to work on on rhythm, so I hope you liked it. If you want to see more of me or more videos teaching guitar, there's loads on my channel, which is... So yeah, go over and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next lesson. Bye now.